Italian Wine Podcast presents a special series, How to Taste Like a Pro, with Sarah Heller, Master of Wine. Hello again, we're here at Opera Wine, and I'm with Giovanni Neri of the famed Casanova di Neri estate in Brunello di Montalcino, well, in Montalcino. So here we're going to discuss a little bit about uh, the wine and the estate um, that we're tasting today. We are a family-owned estate since 1971. Uh, my grandfather was the founder of the estate. Uh, today my father is the boss and I work with him and with my brother. I'm the, the winemaker with my dad. So we are in Montalcino, south part of Tuscany, province of Siena, and we work uh, mostly with Sangiovese. And uh, we produce four different Brunellos uh, from four different areas of Montalcino. And today we present the Penuta Nuova. It is a single vineyard from Sant'Angelo and Colle. This, this vineyard was kind of new because my father bought this land uh, in the middle of the 80s. And so we start to produce the Nuova in 1993. 2007 vintage. What, what was that like? Can you give us a yeah, little... The seven was a very warm and uh, generous vintage. So today, after 16 years, it's at its best time, at its best drinking window. Today is very expressive and it's perfect to drink right now. Yeah, wonderful. So we're in a warmer part of the Appalachian and a warmer vintage. I'm expecting a lot of generosity from this one. And there's a lot of aromatic intensity on the nose. Um, really getting that beautiful, um, that cherry fruit again that you get from Sangiovese, but almost merging into red plum, right? There's really a lot of ripeness and generosity. Also a lovely dried earth, the macchia as well, um, that I think you expect in the southern part of the Appalachian. Yeah, the southern is very balsamic. Mm -hmm. It's very elegant, it's, of course it's a warm vintage, but with the elegance of the Sangiovese. So it's, uh, I think it's very perfect to drink now. You really get the density of the fruit, the concentration, even though it's always that, that bright red Sangiovese fruit, right? Nothing sort of dark or very um, berry-like here. Along with, again, those savory notes, starting to develop a little bit of leather, um, a little bit of dried leaves, um, and really, the freshness is there to support, and um, the texture of the tannins, quite fine, quite powdery, uh, mainly on the clothes to sort of bring it to a cleansing finish. Mm. So returning now to our more relaxed style of tasting. This is really wonderful. I, I really, I feel that you're starting to get the evolution here, but there's still life left. You can feel the fruit concentration in the middle. Do you, how, how, do you, how do you guys work with oak? What is your oak aging yeah, regimen? We have uh, different oak for different uh, Brunellos, and Tanita Nova is aged for about 30 months in 500 liters per month. So French oak, uh, almost 20% uh, new, and the other are old. So we, we don't like so much the oak flavor, so we, we try to take a lot of attention, uh, a lot of care to the wood, the aging. Because of course wood is very important, but uh, when you put the nose in the glass, you don't have to feel the wood. So we always try to find the right balance between the wood, the wood and the oak. Yeah, I think I think definitely what we're getting mainly is the integration and how everything is sort of tied together harmoniously. So thank you so much, Jabat. Enjoyed this.